Honey and welcome. Today, Julie Simcoe and myself, um, Erica, the dietitian from Rama, and Julie's the health nurse at the health center, are going to be making three meals that we hope that you guys can share with your family. So first of all, we're gonna make a cheese, egg, and sausage casserole, um, which can be made um, in advance and put in the refrigerator for up to 24 hours before you wanna bake it. Uh, we're gonna make a pomegranate salad, um, and also we're going to make a baked feta and tomato pasta dish. So we hope you can join us and uh, watch along the videos that we have here for you today. All right, so first of all, for our egg casserole dish with uh, the sausage and potato and veggies, um, we're going to um, set the oven to 350, which we've already done. And I'm also going to need a nine by 13 baking dish. And we're gonna spray that with a bit of cooking spray and then set it aside. If you don't have cooking spray, you can also just use a little bit of oil or some butter as well. So I'm just gonna set that over here aside. Um, also, just to let you know that the recipe will be in the description below. So I'm gonna start off by cooking our sausage, breakfast sausage, and it calls for a pound of sausage. So we're gonna cook that till it's all brown. Um, you just put it on a, a plate with some paper towel to drain a bit of that grease. And then using the same pan, we're gonna um, cook up the um, onion and red peppers. Okay, so I'm just gonna fry up a little bit of the onion or all of the onion. And we have our green pepper. And we're just gonna saute these for probably two to three minutes until they're a little bit softer. Okay, so once you think your vegetables have sauteed enough, as I said, anywhere from probably two to three to four minutes, we can add in our three garlic cloves, so just make sure you mince them with a, with a garlic press, or you can even um, just cut them up into fine pieces if you don't have the garlic press. And we're just gonna add the garlic in. And you wanna make sure that you don't burn the garlic, so I'm just gonna turn my heat right down. And I'll probably let that saute for maybe a minute. Okay, so now that the garlic's nice and sauteed, I'm just gonna leave this in the pan and I have turned it off. And I'm just gonna transfer over here and we're gonna get the egg um, dish um, put together. So in this bowl, I've cracked 12 large eggs. So I'm just gonna whisk them up a little bit. And I'm gonna dump them into a larger bowl. Set that aside. And you're gonna add one cup of milk. And I'm just gonna whisk that up. And then we're gonna to start to add all of the other ingredients. So I've got um, one cup of spinach. So we used um, frozen spinach, or feel free to use the fresh if you have that, but the frozen is a nice option too because um, it, uh, it's actually quite a bit cheaper and easier to cut up as well. Okay, so we've got our spinach in there. And then I'm gonna add in our potatoes. So it's two cups of diced potatoes. Um, so you can buy potatoes frozen as well if you'd like to use frozen potatoes or you can also use uh, just potatoes that you've cooked up just for this. You can add those in. Just mix it around. And then I'll add in our sausage and I just put it on this plate again just to drain off some of the grease. So I'm just going to add that in. Okay. Okay, so I'm just whisking again it all together. I'm gonna add in the cheese. So we've separated the cheese. So this is one cup of shredded cheese. And I'm gonna add in our salt and pepper. And then I'll add in our sauteed vegetables. So this is a nice dish to have if you want to make ahead, as I said, and then you can put it in the oven when you're ready to use it. Okay, so once you've got all of your ingredients into the egg dis, uh, dish or casserole, we can pour it into our pan. So I'm just going to pour it in here carefully. 
So before we throw this in the oven, we're gonna just sprinkle the remaining cheese, which is about a cup of shredded cheese over the top. And then if you like green onions, that's an option as well to just sprinkle a few of those on the top, depending on people's preferences or likes and dislikes, or just put it on half if kids don't like onion. And then we're gonna bake it at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. Okay, so our egg dish is now finished. Um, so you're gonna wanna let it sit for about five to 10 minutes before you serve it. Um, and then it will be ready to go. So here we have the sausage, cheese, and egg casserole. And this is what it would look like um, if you plated it. So the next dish we're gonna make is called a baked uh, feta and tomato um, casserole, if you like. Um, it was actually quite famous on TikTok, if you're familiar with that. Um, it's quite simple. You can either use it as an appetizer or some people have chosen to add pasta with this meal and then make it more of a, an actual meal versus an appetizer. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, so we're going to start off with our cherry tomatoes. So we're going to dump those into our casserole dish. And they do suggest coming up with a dish that's um, on the smaller side. So you want things sort of tucked in close together. So next I'm going to add the olive oil. So I'm just going to drizzle this over top of the tomatoes. I'm going to save a little bit for the cheese. So I'm just going to set that there. And we're going to add in our salt and pepper, sprinkle it all over. And then we're going to toss this nicely up together. So after we've got those tossed, I'm going to then add our brick of feta cheese. So it is suggested to use a brick, um, but if you don't have the brick, you can use the crumbled. Um, it just doesn't turn out as nicely. So we're going to add the brick on the top. And then we're going to add a little bit more of the olive oil over top of the cheese. And then we're going to sprinkle with a few red pepper flakes. So now we're ready to um, put this in the oven and we're going to bake it for 30 minutes at 400. Okay, so this is what the feta and tomatoes will look like once you've baked it. And then immediately we're supposed to add our garlic, our chopped garlic. And our fresh basil. Feel free to use dried basil as well, I've used that at home. So I'm just gonna stir this all up. And again, this could be used as an appetizer to be served with bread or crackers, um, or you can use it as we are today with some pasta. Okay, so now that I've got the pasta um, and cheese, or sorry, the cheese and tomato dish nicely mixed, I'm going to add in our pasta. So once you add the pasta, you just can stir it all nicely together. Um, and also with the pasta, it does suggest cooking it al dente, which is a little bit firmer, so it's not super mushy and soggy. Um, but once you add in your pasta, you just toss it nicely together and then it's uh, ready to serve. So the next recipe we're going to be making today is a pomegranate salad. So we're going to use, um, I used half, uh, half arugula. and then half spinach. So you can use any type of lettuce that you like. And then we're just gonna combine all of the ingredients here. So I've got some pomegranates. Then next we're gonna add up some sliced apples. So again, you can choose any type of apple. This is a honey crisp, so it's nice, sweet, sweet taste. And then for those that like it, we also have some avocado. Again, some of these things might be optional if you don't if you don't particularly care for these ingredients. And then we've got some chopped walnuts. And then some Parmesan cheese. And then lastly, we're going to toss it with our dressing. Um, the dressing will be in the description below, but feel free to use any dressing that you like. A, a simple balsamic would also go nice with this, or just an oil and vinegar. So 
Okay, so once you've uh, tossed the salad nicely and you've got your dressing on, it, it's ready to be served.